Hey, 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 we live. I just realized I might want to do my hair while I'm on here. I was just going to do my makeup, but um, my straightener's in the other room. So, should I do my makeup on here or not? What y'all think? Uh, where's the comment section? I feel like I always do this wrong. Hey, y'all. I don't know if y'all... Are y'all commenting? Because I see no comments. Let me see. Let me see. Live chat on. All messages are visible. Okay, so why can't I see messages? Bruh. I don't want to move the camera like the other way. I'm on my phone. Oh. Hey, because y'all faking wasn't saying nothing. So that's why no comments were coming up. Anyway. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna get drinks with my girls. You know, actually getting out the house, y'all. I'm a homebody on the low, but um, should I do my hair and my makeup on here or should I just do my makeup? What y'all think? Hey, y'all. Hey. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to decide. Should I do my makeup too, y'all? Hair and makeup. Okay, let me go grab my straightener. Let's go on a trip. I always forget something. Like, even when I'm filming, like, y'all, I got all the lights out. My bad. I can't see. I can't see. Let me tell y'all why I got the lights out. Because Alabama Power, wait, I think, I'm pretty sure y'all know where I, I live, but what state I live in. Alabama Power be taxing y'all, and I live by myself. Y'all know that. So I'll be trying to save a coin. Okay. We got the straightener. Hey, y'all. What are y'all doing on this lovely Friday? Anything interesting? Sorry, I got to grab my brush and stuff uh, uh. so unprepared y'all this is ridiculous ridiculous i'm starting late and i'm unprepared i'm gonna get it together though yeah i'm gonna get it together studying okay go ahead and study then dang everybody's studying y'all make me feel like i need to be studying for something i ain't even in school no more <laughs> well i am in school but not right now summertime That's okay. I'm usually not going anywhere. Oh, shoot. I could be setting this stuff up. Oh. Okay. Got my straightener. Uh, I think I'm going to do my makeup first. That's all right, y'all. I'm a homebody, too. I'm telling you. If it wasn't for my friend saying, Cameron, you want to go? Cameron will be at the house. I'm going to let y'all know. Right now, if my wig slipped back, I just threw it on. Because usually when I... um. Before I do my makeup, I lay my hair down, my baby hairs. Baby hairs, I don't really know what I'm doing, okay? But, um, and then I just kind of let my braids out, but my ra braids are raggedy. So I was like, let me throw on a wig. So I look crazy with these folks. Hey! Yeah, try to look cute and, you know, like a little messy bun with a little... Let me stop. I'm low-key trying to finish uh, something for school. Okay, I can't really set y'all right here. Hold on. We're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. Um, I'm reading y'all comments. Sorry. Study for pharmacy. Okay, I'm going to pharmacy. How's the summer job? It's going really good. So, um, those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me there. Because I'm always, you know, trying to post a lot and just get my content better on there. But, um... It's going really good. I was at a plaintiff's civil law firm. Plaintiff is civil. But um, I was at a civil law firm the first half of the summer. Now I'm in the second half, and I'm working at the district attorney's office, and I'm loving it per usual. I loved it last summer, so I figured I would really like it. I'm at a different um, DA's office, though, this summer. Here I'm just priming my face. I always prime my face. I've started doing this, like, first before I um, even do my eyebrows just because my eyebrows, like, have been breaking out. Like, what? But... Yes, I did a split summer. Last summer, I did the entire summer um, at one location. I highly recommend splitting the summer if possible. Most um, most law schools allow you to do that in law firms. It gives you a little bit more, I guess, insight in what you might want to do because you technically only get two summers in law school. So, um, like, after your first year, you get a summer intern and all that. And then after your second year, you get a summer. After your third year, you're studying for the bar. So you really only have two summers to kind of like test the waters and figure out what you want to do as far as like job wise. So it's a really good idea to split the summer if you can. So that's why I'm happy I'm doing it this summer. 
Sorry, my mirror gonna have to be in the way. Okay. Because for my eyebrows, I need to get a little close. Okay. But yeah, and the DA, DA is district attorney. My bad. I don't know if I said district attorney or DA. Over here using code words. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. What state bar are you taking? I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the Alabama bar. Um, Because hopefully I'll be getting a job offer here. Um, those of you that don't know, I do have a boyfriend. He's studying for the bar right now, and he will be taking the Alabama bar because he already has a job offer here at a firm in Birmingham, Alabama. Go ahead, Paige. I'm trying to be an educator. We need some good educators. Educators are so important. They're like, y'all have no idea. So people that can be teachers and professors, y'all got it. Because Cameron Monet, <laughs> I cannot. I do not have the patience, Lord. Okay. Hey. So I've been using the Benefit Brow Pencil. I like the thinner one. What's the name of it, y'all? Precisely. I really like Precisely, but I already used it up. So oops. So I've been using um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Whatever. Thought I'd splurge a little bit, you know, get me a nice little eyebrow pencil. Because um, usually I use um, NYX, which I still love. I probably will rebuy that. But I've been using this. I like it, but I don't have as much control with the thicker one, if y'all can see. As I have with the Precisely one, like I said, it's out, but you can tell even by the nozzle, or I don't know, the tube, that it was thinner, but it's still pretty good. So, these are my eyebrows. I have no makeup on my face. I will be having a skincare routine soon, because I pretty much um, got it how I like it at this point. So, hey! Okay, blocked. How you block people on here? Report. You know, I always wondered why people be reporting people and blocking people, but people just be saying ignorant SHIT. So I had to do that. Sorry. Oops. Look, they done threw me off. Anyway, yeah, I don't have time for the BS, so. But luckily, as far as like my content, I don't really get crazy comments a lot, so looking glad. My bad, y'all. Can y'all talk into your eyebrows? Because I cannot. <laughs> okay, look. They better watch out. My subscribers gonna come through with the come through. Anyway. Oh, I should give y'all a sneak peek of my blog. So, I should have been launched it, y'all, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with it. And I need to, you know, you know, get it all together to make sure I can get paid through it, to be honest. Really? This is the type of mornings I'll be having. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> it ain't even the morning. Okay, so this is with the eyebrow. I know it looks a little dark, but we're gonna we're gonna get it together. Um do you do the summer jobs in law school pay? Most of them pay. Um and some jobs pay as well as eighteen hundred dollars a week. Some law firms pay as well as eighteen hundred dollars a week. Cameron Monet was not working at a law firm that paid that much, okay? But um majority do pay very well. Um I guess when you're in law school and you aren't getting paid during the school year anything seems well honestly and then you have to think long term a job may not be paying you know i guess top notch dollar but it might be a firm that's going to actually offer you a job where you're going to make good money so it's kind of like a balance um yeah it's kind of balanced and you got to remember it's not all about the money it's more about the experience the people you're working with and things of that nature you don't want to just fall into well, they pay really good. I guess I'll stay here because then you'll end up working there and hate it. And it's just like a never ending cycle. So, um, I mean, of course, money is important, but don't get too caught up in the money, especially in the legal field. Um, when does school start back? I start school um, and to the people that said they can't talk and do anything. Y'all same. But um, I start school um, August 20th. That's when I start school. I'm thinking about, okay, I mentioned this in my last video. If y'all have not seen my video, my three-in-one video when I'm talking about a whole bunch of stuff, 
you need to see it. I'll link it in the description box when I'm done with this video because I'm going to post it probably. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm thinking about doing like a mentor-mentee program type thing for pre-law students and law students, I guess. Now that I'm a 3L, I'm about to graduate in a year. Uh, just so that I can give people more like one-on-one -on -one help because I get a lot of questions and sometimes it's just hard to like give individual feedback, especially like through social media where I do maybe like a video chat um and things of that nature um i'm gonna be honest the debate is whether i should charge or not now i know it should be free free great but your girl's trying to make a coin but i would not charge over like 20 dollars. i think that's reasonable where it would be like um several sessions one-on-one -on -one video chat um and i'd also give like a resume template cover letter template um maybe networking tips and just like a basically like a big packet of something I haven't quite got it all together and then um you know just kind of walk somebody through like the maybe if you're uh, pre-law and you haven't quite got to law school walk you through steps you can take to um get to law school um and then if you're in high school maybe walk you through some things in undergrad that you should do something like that i don't know it's in the works but yeah i've been trying to figure out something because i love talking with y'all and giving feedback and giving my advice and experience in law school especially being a black female i feel like there just aren't that many black females that are on youtube or on social media talking about their legal experience so i definitely want to share that with y'all some way and still make a coin because y'all know i keep it 100 done with y'all keep it 100 but i also want it to be affordable and reasonable that i would actually pay for it because realistically i'm not about to spend like 80 dollars on something like that i'm sorry like i'm not but i think like 20 dollars is reasonable maybe 40. We're going to pray about it. Anyway, I feel like I'm always talking about law school, but it's like pretty much my life. Okay, so got the eyebrows kind of sort of on. I'm about to get one of these do color um, brushes. I used these in my last video, so check it out. So it's not I'm sponsored or anything. They just sent me the brushes for free. Let me just make something clear. Because, I mean, I had to get this clear for myself too, y'all. So I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. I used to use like lighter color under my eyebrows, but I've been using the darker one. I kind of like it. Anyways, so when I when YouTubers, influencers get things for free and they do a video or a post, it's not sponsored, just so y'all know. Sponsored post is when you're paid to talk about a product. But if you're just in it for free, technically you don't even have to ever do a video on it or talk about it. You could just use it or whatever. So yeah. But I put whether it's sponsored or not in the video. Just a heads up for y'all. Sorry, y'all. I can't talk. Okay. Just want to, like, do my eyebrows on camera, y'all. I be struggling. Sometimes it takes a minute to get it together. Okay. <laughs> it's on. Um... One through three years old. Can you talk about the differences in one up to a year? Definitely. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. I like their advice more relatable. Thanks. I'm glad I can be relatable. Oh, thank you. I, I love mentoring. Like I've done that in undergrad. Even when I was like young, 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 where it was like you should be the mentee and I was trying to mentor. I love that. And I think some of that is being an only child and always wanting a younger sibling. And honestly, when it comes to special thing like law school, there's really no age. So I could speak to women and men that are older than me that have never went to law school that are ex that are interested in law school. So I think that would just be kind of cool um, for me to do and beneficial. I would hope. But there's some. Um, there is this girl I cannot remember her name. Uh, dang, I would give her a quick little shout out. I cannot remember her name. Anyway, she's on Instagram and she does like pre law help and help them get scholarships and things like that. If I can think of the name, I will. Definitely say it to y'all. I just cannot remember the name. It's like Jazz something. And she's amazing. Like actual goals. Yes. Jazz talks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, she's awesome. Like, man, I would have definitely used her um, if I was before I came to law school. You got to find all the resources you can find when it comes to law school because this stuff is expensive, y'all. Like, not even trying to hold y'all up. It's expensive. See, this is where I start messing up my eyebrows. When you, you think you got it good and you're like, no, I can get it better. I can get it better. And this is when you start messing up your eyebrow. Am I the only one? 
Let me not mess it up. Now I'm gonna mess it up. Ooh. Cause this one's a little thinner. I guess they don't need to be uh what they say, they don't need to be twins, they just sisters, something like that. Oh, see. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna just make it do what it do. See y'all look. This is why I be taking like 30,000 minutes. Okay, that ain't even an amount. I'm trying to get the eyebrows together. See now this one look like I'm surprised and shit. Y'all see why I do my eyebrows off camera? Okay, we back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna take this little dent. <laughs> thank you, thank y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna try to just wipe off some of that extra concealer. So, woo, y'all. Ooh, side note, can we please, y'all watch Netflix because I've been watching Riverdale and it's the truth. Like I've been watching Riverdale, I love it. I watch a lot of cop shows and law video shows too, which I mean, clearly, I feel like it's like, duh, of course you do, but some people don't, even though they're in the legal field. Like uh, Staircase, I've been wa kind of watching that uh, on Netflix, pretty interesting. So today on my internship, I feel like I'm kind of bopping all over the place. But um, so today on my internship, the DA's office, clerkship, internship, whatever. It's free, by the way. It's volunteer. I'm not getting paid for that. But they do have a stipend at my school, so it's kind of cool, even though I didn't get it. Moving along. Um, I did my first search warrant. I went on my first execution of a search warrant. It was super dope, crazy, kind of scary on the low, but I felt super secure because I was with um, the narcotics unit in um, Birmingham, Alabama. So it was super interesting. Great experience. Next week, I'll be going on a jail tour. And seeing an autopsy. So that's just something cool that, you know, a lot of people don't get the experience, especially going into this field, especially if I want to do criminal law. It's just something cool that I get to experience prior to kind of getting involved in it too deep. So um, I'm not even telling you all the products. So this is the Benefit Brow Setter, 24 hour brow setter I'm using to put over my eyebrows. Somebody asked me what brush I was using. Um, these are from Do Color. What did I do with it? It's right here. Oops. All the colorful brushes. Really, bro? Okay. All the colorful brushes are from Do Color. I have a video on that. It's my last video. Definitely check that out. Um, but I really like the brushes, actually. And they're kind of cute, so. So here's the eyebrows done. Now I'm about to do my face. People still color correct? I don't know. I just do it out of habit. Not even going to lie to y'all. I already primed my face, by the way, and moisturized my face and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm kind of excited about this autopsy thing. Yeah, I thought Riverdale looked weird too. Okay, back to the Netflix. I thought Riverdale looked. Yeah, I I thought it was weird. Then my best friend was like, "Girl, you have to watch it. It's great." La 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 la. And I'm like, "Girl, I'm not about to watch that. I watch it and I watch the whole season one in one day." Apparently, it was good. <laughs> It's so good. You should definitely watch it. It's like a whole bunch of crazy twists and turns. And then I got my boyfriend watching it. He said it's all right, but he be watching it. So clearly it's okay. I'm just kind of covering up any dark areas. I see. I know I look psycho. Um, I'm taking my, dang, I forgot to wet these. I'm about to use my water bottle. Don't judge me. I don't want to hear nothing in the comments. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Sometimes I don't remember. And I just wet it with my little water. It helps with like the dark areas. Um, oh yeah, Law and Order is the truth. Yes. You do not have it. Yeah, I think I'll be okay with the autopsy. I've seen a lot of photos before. Um, and I've seen, you know, that kind of stuff before. So, I think I'll be fine. But I'm already like, if I cannot handle it, your girl is walking out. Okay. 
I'm not about to be playing with them. I'm uh, I'm going to walk out in a heartbeat. I'm not about to sit here if I don't if I feel uncomfortable or if I don't want to do something. I'm not about to do it. You can't tell me what to do. I'm grown. AF. Yeah, Riverdale's really good. Oh, yeah, Luke Cage is good too, y'all. Really good. 3% is good. It's kind of weird, but I can explain. Like, it's kind of like Hunger Games, kind of. Um, should definitely give it a try. Um, what else I want to talk about? I really don't have much going on, y'all. <laughs> Just, you know, clerking. I'm running a competition. I'm on the national trial team again this year. Yay. Just got, you know. The verdict that I actually am on the trial team again because you have to try out um, every year. But anyway, so I'm on Cumberland's national trial team again, and I'm actually the director of one of our competitions this summer. So um, why am I smacking my gum like that? Let me take it out. I don't want to need something to put it in. I don't want to be smacking my gum, but I don't want to take it out. It's still like got the um, flavor in it. Like I'm wait, Sorry, y'all. So if I'm smacking. Don't hold it against me. Anyway, so um, I'm the director of one of the competitions this summer. So I'm really excited because we just got all the teams registered, 12 of them. Um, it's two weekends in a row. I just need to send out the problem. So I'm actually waiting for the associate director to send me like the problem, the case file. Because they're basically like I'm trying a case, like a mock trial. And I'm waiting for her to text me back. But she act like she can't text me back. So I'm about to double, triple text her. But we're going to have to send the problem out tomorrow. Cause it's already getting late, so I think I might just send the problem out tomorrow. Anyways, so I feel like I have a lot going on. So I'm about to use the Maybelline Super Stay in the color. Three fifty six, <laughs> and I'm putting it on this little like Mary Kay thing. I had like a whole bunch of these. My mom used to be a Mary Kay lady. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put two pumps on there. I really like this foundation. It's like my go-to. It's gonna look crazy at first, but it will oxidize or whatever. Y'all know I ain't know make a professional but yeah so i'm just gonna put this all over my face what is your favorite affordable foundation like drugstore foundation comment in the comment section thank you thank you i'm really excited to have this position girl yes it is so hot in alabama y'all okay Earlier today, we was outside at the little search warrant thing. I was about to pass out. Pass out, y'all. I had a black jeans and a, t and a black t-shirt with a uh, um, bulletproof vest on, y'all, and some tennis shoes. It was hot, sis. Hot. I had a hat on, though. I know y'all like the color doesn't matter. I swear, it look, see? It, see how back here it looks like it actually makes sense? It's because the light, um, my ring light, makes my makeup look crazy. Maybelline Fit Me. Yeah, I have Maybelline Fit. Look, sis. Okay, I have the Fit Me. Wait, was that the right one? Here it is again. I like Revlon 24 Hour Color Stay. Another go-to. Um, I like Fenty, but it was kind of like, I might as well just not wear makeup because it's like super light. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I understand. It's hard to find um, colors in the drugstore. Like that match your skin. It really is. So I kind of like stick with the same ones because I know these match. But uh, try to lift up that. You know. The, make sure the edges match. Blend, sis. Blend. Blend. I like the matte one better than the dewy Maybelline. Are you from Montgomery? Hey, girl, what's up? Are you living in Mobile? Oh, girl. <laughs> Whole week would fall off. It's so dang hot down there. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, those are, for those of you that don't know, I'm not originally from Alabama. I'm actually from Flint, Michigan. Yes, water crisis. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have to say that, like, when I say I'm from Flint. And, um... I went to undergrad at Kennesaw State University in Georgia. Major political science, minor criminology. Whoop de whoop 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 whoop. Now I'm in law school at Cumberland School of Law. Going into my third year. Pretty sure that's blended for the gods. 
Oh, she just texted me back, y'all. She just texted me back. Maybe she was on my live and now she saw me. She said, shoot, I'm sorry. I just like tears in the car on the way down Baton Rouge. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, I'm going to have to edit that. Okay, sorry. Had to handle that. Anyways, so moving on to Under the Eye. So I tried to ball out a little bit, y'all. I have the Tarte um, Shape Tape. I know Tarte ain't shit. I know. Allegedly. Tarte, if you ever see this, which you probably won't. I'm not talking shit, but I'm talking shit, but not really. Anyway, I know they had like some kind of scandal going on. I can't remember, remember what it was, but I'm still using it because I never tried it. And I really like it. Um, this is their color Deep. I try not to get involved in social media shenanigans. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't talk. Anyway, um, do a little, you know, tribal stuff on the face. I really like this. And it's not as bright as I usually, I feel like my under eye and stuff is. So, yeah. Um, I heard the Tarte Foundation is amazing. Um, I live in the desert. Oh, 107, Jesus. Who Jesus. I cannot. I will not. I shall not. Okay. Um. Yes, girl, you know. Carly Home, always repping. This is so ghetto. I'm really using the water bottles to put this, y'all. This is so ghetto. Anyway. <laughs> so, we're going to just dab, dab, dab. I'm telling y'all, I do my makeup the same every single time. Every time. I cannot not make faces. Like, anybody else be like... <laughs> I swear, y'all. Okay. Look. Okay. See, I just like the way it looks. Like. Yeah, I'm like, I cannot. I'm because beauty group, they be like. Like, bitch, don't nobody be looking like that when they're doing makeup. makeup. I can't look cute like. I, I can't. Like, <laughs> you be like, if you ain't making these faces, your makeup is not cute. No, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. I really don't know how to act in real life, y'all. People be like, you be doing the most. Why do YouTubers be doing the most in their videos? Do the most. Like, sus. I do the most in real life. So I used to like put the concealer like everywhere on my face. Now I just kind of use the extra. And I just kind of do it like that. What time is it? I think we're supposed to leave at nine. Is it stop raining? Let me see. Okay. So that's how the face is looking. myself up you gotta hype yourself up okay why hype yourself up because nobody else will no i'm kidding people hype you up too so i really need a good setting for a setting powder please tell me some good setting powders you can tell me high end just let me know it's high end i'll know by the name and then um some drugstore because i've been using the cover cover girl um Loose powder in the color translucent honey for like decades, and I really like it, but I feel like I'm kind of like getting over it. So I want to try something else because I'm running out and I don't want to rebuy the same thing. I cannot use um airspun. I'm allergic. I don't know what's in it. I'm allergic to it. Period. Um, but I do want to try a different setting powder. Do you just wear makeup at home or when you're going out? Ninety percent of the time, I do not wear makeup. I'm not. I don't have any type of makeup on like at all. Um, I recently started just doing my eyebrows and eye eyeliner and mascara out the house just so I look a little bit put together at work. But honestly, I'm not wearing makeup all the time because I just don't. It's just I just don't wear makeup all the time. But I feel like I've been wearing a lot more now that I'm 
going to work and doing more activities where I feel like I need to look like I'm alive. So, Beauty Bakeries. Oh, I'll try that. I like the CoverGirl one. It's just kind of like shimmery and sometimes it be doing the most. <laughs> yeah, it did rain here. Um, but we trying to go bar hopping. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not bar hopping nowhere in the rain. I said Cameron will be at the house. Okay. Thank you. Whole eye gone. Poke your whole eye out when you're trying to look cute and do your makeup. Tarte Setting Power at Sephora. Did not say mine. I tried that. Oh, yeah. I want to try the Sasha Buttercup. I feel like there was a scandal going on with Sasha Buttercup. Maybe it was a different brand. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to stay out of all that. I'm trying to decide, should I use my sponge to put on the powder or should I use a brush? I've been using a brush, but both of them still crease. So I think it's the powder. Um, let me take this one on my mouth. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> um, should I use a brush or a sponge? I'm going to use a brush. Just because I don't really want it to sit. I'm just kind of putting this on top of it. Just to kind of get everything kind of sitting together. Thank y'all. I'm seriously going to try these. I might just buy like a few of them and just test them out. And see how I like them. I just have to try something new. Something new. Because y'all, I'm a creature of habit. Meaning, when I find something I like or a routine I like, I stick to the same thing. Okay, until I have to change it up, like if it gets discontinued or something. But yeah, I'm like, if I find something I like, I don't have, not have time to be trying to test out other things unless I feel like it. And even if I test out other things, I usually go back to like my <laughs> OG products. Is that just me? Yeah, that's what I usually do, but I actually just threw out all my sponges and bought new ones, these two new ones. Um... And I didn't think to buy a third, duh, because that's the one I use for, like, setting. Because I don't like using the same one because it's kind of wet. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But is it okay to use, like, a wet sponge with setting powder? Let me know, y'all. You know what? Y'all might know something that I don't know. Y'all probably do know some. I don't know. Where is my... Hold up, y'all. Got to move y'all for a second. Oh, 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 oh. Showing all my business. Did I miss a comment? Yeah, I definitely need to test out some. See, like, what I like, what I don't like. Because I'm allergic to something. I don't know. In that air fun. I don't know what it is. But my face is breaking out. And I was like, it's a no for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I usually use a dry sponge. So... Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, y'all. Seriously. You know, we learn together, honey. We learn together. So I've been really loving kinky straight units. Like, basically, that's all I've been wearing. I'm obsessed with how natural it looks. So do you have any kinky straight recommendations? Like, coarse, yakky kind of look? Let me know. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I think there's so many different ways to um, do your makeup and have it look good. Like, it just depends. Like, people do different techniques. What works for their, like, skin, their skin, <laughs> their face shape and things of that nature. And their skin as well. Like, if you have sensitive skin, then to do different things, but. I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Palette in Medium Dark. I love this. It's amazing. That's what it looks like on the inside. I just pretty much only use this. I've never even touched these. So, yeah. I'm trying to do this one just to... Oh, really? 
Maybe I try to try with the damn sponge. See, look. Look, okay? You never know. Wow, I really put that up like I don't need to contour my nose. <laughs> Cute. It was a joke. Dang, was my elbow ashy? I'm sorry, y'all. Whole elbow ashy. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for tuning in and always supporting me. You're the best. Seriously, like, I'd be like, there go my girl commenting. So thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll try to get a slight photo for the gram tonight, unless I look raggedy. Nose is snatched. Yes, it's a really good palette. I get, sometimes I get it from, um, like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx, or I just go to Target. I think that's where I get it. Do y'all hear my neighbors? Like, shh, shh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to get like a phone grip and set this up correctly because can be out here like this. I use iMovie to edit my videos. iMovie. And honestly, like, I was going to upgrade to Final Cut Pro eventually, but iMovie actually has some really good features that I didn't, like, I'm just now learning and figuring out. So, um, I might not even switch. Now y'all looking like, that don't blend. I'm going to blend it, y'all. Don't worry. But yeah, I use iMovie. There's so many things you can do with it. I've been Googling all types of stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Somebody asked me, was I going to Essence Festival? I wish. I need to go to, like, BeautyCon or something. Like, I feel like that really helps me. That would help me get more, like, involved with the YouTube community and meet with brands and things like that so i wanted to go um i'm just putting this all over my face at this point but um i wanted to because i cannot talk and do anything but i wanted to go to beautycon la but yeah didn't do that i'm gonna go to one of these y'all i'm gonna go as a regular regular because your girl um don't have enough people to get invited for real so yeah i'm gonna go but I think it'll be fun, like, just to meet some YouTubers, because, shoot, okay, I love some YouTubers. I am a YouTube watcher, okay? Steady my face. You know what, y'all? I just realized I did not put on any um eyeshadow. It's like habit, because, like, when I do my regular face, like, for work, I don't put on eyeshadow. And I would have did that before I did... My, um, dang. Dang. I always did that before I did my, um, foundation. Well, because I won't be having an eyeshadow on today. That's okay. I'll just do a bold lip. I hate doing bold lips when I go drinking. Y'all want to know why? Because then, like, the lips should be coming off, and I'll be having to reapply, and I don't want to do that. So, Dang, I did not think that out. Okay. See? <laughs> the lighting's bad, so I can't, like, show y'all for real. But, um... Oh, the setting powder that I just used is from Black Opal. It's their deluxe finishing powder in the color dark. Hashtag commercial. Anyway, um, it's not makeup related, but those jumpsuits you tried on earlier were super cute. Thanks, thank you. I love that red jumpsuit. Like, I love that. It's over there, so I looked over there. I love that red jumpsuit from Shein. Thank you. I'll be doing more like get ready with me videos because um, I've been working with Shein. So, 
like that. Yes, I've been seeing a lot of people purchasing wigs on Amazon. I'm like, sus. Don't, that wig kind of slays. So I'm thinking about um doing that. I'll probably just order some because they're not too expensive. I can use my own coin, okay? Uh, I said what powder it was. Favorite YouTubers. <sighs> I can't because it's too many. I, it's too many. Um... There are some people that I'm like, I don't miss a video, but then like I go on spurts where like I might not watch them at all and then like I'll binge watch their channel. So it's kind of hard to say like what YouTubers I like. But I mean, of course I like, like I like Raven Elise TV, Jayla Corian, um, Aaliyah's Face, Aaliyah J, um, Keisha Anderson, who else do I watch? Um, Tierra Walker, uh, Jaleesa Vaughn. DK Pharrell, Kennedy, I love her, um, Daryl, both of them together, uh, Daryl, I call him Daryl, my bad, that's her bad, she's supposed to call him Daryl, I'm supposed to call him, uh, what's his name, somebody know it, I can't even think of the name, that's so sad, DDG, um, he from Pontiac, Michigan, I'm from Flint, so it's like, what's up, son, son, more like cousin, brother, stepchild, something, I don't know, um, who else, uh, yeah, DDG. Who else do I watch? I watch a lot of people. Like, a lot. Um, if I pulled up my YouTube subscription, y'all would be like, Cameron, like, you're tripping. Let's just go through some of them. Um, Alyssa Ashley, of course. All of Destiny. Alyssa Forever. Amber Martin. Amber Scholl. Let's see. America. Arnell. Ashley Devana, of course. Um, A Sierra, Beauty and Brains, Nisi, of course, uh, Body by Kiara, Brie Hall, let's see who else we got on here, Brittany Daniel, that's my girl, that's my girl, if I go to Texas, I want us to link up, I feel like we'd be friends, um, let's see, some of these people I don't really watch anymore, so I'm not like saying the name, Sydney Black, Jackie Ina, of course. That's everyone's TT. Like, TT Jackie. I love Jackie Ina. She's like actual literal life goals. Like, goals in a person. Um, Desi Perkins. Ellery. Let's see. EC. I hope I'm saying her name right. EC Michelle. African Beauty, of course. He Flawless. It's my Ray Ray. Jacqueline Hill. Jamie and Nikki. Wow. Yeah. Jasmine Brown. I already said Jayla, Jenny Jenkins, Jessica Pedway, Julesy, Kaylin and Kyra. I love them. Literally so cute. Casey, of course. I already said Kennedy, Lakia Star. I already said Kyra. Kristen Knight, Legally Lana, uh, Lissette, Luxury Jazz. She go to law school with me. Uh, Makeup Shayla, Malibu Dollface, like I could go on, it's a million people. Matthew Hussey, I do follow Miracle Watts, don't judge me. Um, Miss Darcy, Missy Lynn, Morgan Taylor, Miss Muffins, I ain't feel like saying her whole name. My Life is Ava, Nap Queen, Nappy Foo, Natural, Natural 85. <laughs> I follow a lot of people, Nitra B, dang, Patricia Bright, Peak Mill, Pretty Major, Pretty with Lee, already said Raven, Rose Kimberly. Sam Ozkurl, I cannot say her name. Sam Ozkurl, anyway, she's a fitness channel. Um, Shameless Maya Shamboodram. They just got engaged. I love them. Her, her man. Uh, who else? Shirley B. Snitchery. Soul Style Beauty. Sophieology. Yes. So, um, Style Ageless. Summerella. Tammy Hembro. I don't know. She do fitness and stuff too. I just like her personality. Um, Tayamo Aaron, The Beauty Sanctuary. I already said DDG Family. The Fine Guru. The Chic Natural. The Brilliant Beauty, of course. Okay. I feel like we'd be like best friends. Um, too Much Mouth. Twin Goddesses. You Love Megs. Y'all know. Come on. Vicky Logan. Uh, and of course, I have the vlog channels. Okay, anyway, I basically went through almost all my entire subscription. But yeah, 
I watch pretty much all those people. And then I also watch other people that kind of like pop up on my, um, uh, you know, feed. There's a few people like I watch your videos. I'm just not subscribed to the channel. I know I'm trifling. Don't be like me. Please do better than me and subscribe to my channel. We have already. Shameless plug. <laughs> I'm using Maybelline's eyeliner. In the color. I think it's black and black. Pulling my whole eyeball, uh, eyeball out. Dang, that kind of hurt. Um, yeah, Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx. I said black is black, it's Onyx. But yeah, I feel like everybody loves Jackie. Like Jackie, 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 I usually can use, I really can use one pump, but I want it to kind of stay on, so I'm going to go out and about. Oh, we go. It's kind of late. It's not like we're about to be out that late. Hopefully, well, shit, you never know. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Let me stop. That's, I can't edit this, so I'm tripping. Um, just did some eyeliner, and I'm going to do a little, should I do some blush? I'm really mad about the eyeshadow, because I really wanted to go all out and do some eyeshadow tonight. No, I don't want to do it after the fact. I'm going to do a little bit of, um, try to not make it fall, it still fell. A little bit of blush. I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette. <laughs> Can't get it open. Ignore my ratchet nail. I sure didn't address it. My nail's just been out here. Ignore it. Ignore it. Anyway, this is what the palette looks like. What up, what up, what up? From the 810, you know what's up. Okay. I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I always like tap into my blush and then tap it down because it just be too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, that was lame. blush on i just like to put a little bit so it looks a little bit of color on my face but not like <laughs> too much y'all honestly this little fan brush is really just cute it's kind of like annoying and hard to use maybe i'm just overthinking it but i'm like i don't need to use this i like to use this this it works better i know y'all like really i like to use this when i'm using my um uh highlight but the fan brush look all cute. So, you know, let me use a fan brush. So, y'all like, oh, she used a fan brush. But honestly, like, this is just for cutes. So, I'm going into my Carly Bible palette because it's shit old and I have not bought anything new. But I love it. So, I do what I do. Hey, y'all. Love you too, boo. So, we're going to just hit the, hit the little, like, watch this. Bling, bling. Bling, 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 bling. Let me stop. Okay, see, this uh, is this, uh, what I'm talking about. The fan brush do not, I feel like, get in there like the other brush. Can I see it? It's really a lot. It's not showing up on camera, but I'm putting too much. Hit the nose with a little whoop, bloop, 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 Seriously. I'm a Virgo, just in case y'all are wondering. September 7th. Hashtag send me birthday gifts. I opened the P.O. box, but I'm not about to do that, y'all. That's too much. I think that would be kind of... Hmm, I doubt that y'all would send me anything. Hit the cupid bow. Virgo gang, 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 gang. Hit the eyebrow. Put a little highlight on. I probably just highlighted my entire eye, like eyelid because y'all can't even see the highlight, but I swear it's popping. I'm gonna just add a little bit more because why not blind these niggas at the bar? Ooh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I said the N word. I'm sorry. Oops. 
it's no edit life it's not about i'm not about that life i be needing to edit out when i be cutting up my neighbors is really yelling y'all so, that's what i get that's what i get that's what i get like over my entire face i have tried some from the fence yeah i like their foundation um but like i said it's kind of light so it's kind of like i don't really want to wear it but i have tried the fence fenty um and i have the highlight kilowatt and the i don't know where it is i would show you oh i have their um what is this one trophy wife highlighter but it's like yellow so i mean i don't use it all the time regular like regular use i'm just blending this in with this brush y'all i want to try the red lipstick i just haven't got around to getting it i'm lazy y'all i've not tried that it's my ray ray palette do y'all like it i blend things in so it looks more no okay and then now that we have I really did a basic face. I did like my work face, kind of, sort of. It's pretty much what I do for work. I was not thinking, like, you're going out. I'm gonna go out, you guys. I don't feel like adding um, eyeshadow. So, uh-oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sorry, y'all, um, like I said, I'm running this competition, so I was reading this, let me see. <laughs> oh y'all like really sorry y'all law student duties are calling me so um i'm going to now add some mascara so i love Too Faced better than sex but i found a little dupe okay this is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise in the color black is black so let's do that I suck at eyeliner on the top so I shall not partake it's just in such festivities because I'll be out here looking like a god dang mess this is dirty my bad y'all dang it's okay Anyway, so look at the brush. Looks just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, y'all. It's a little bit more, what's the word? Messy, I guess. But um, it's very similar as far as like the brush, the way it applies and things of that nature. And it's a lot cheaper. Oh, I always get some freaking mascara. Okay, so there you go. Look at that. Natural lashes, y'all. One little, I was going to say one coat, but that's not true. It's multiple coats. But anyways, cheap little mascara, y'all. And I always put some on the bottom lashes. I got it from um, Walmart. Walmart or Target? I have on, this is red... Redwood City, I believe. Redwood City gel polish. I've been trying to find like cute polishes that are still, you know, somewhat professional. I feel like that's like the never ending struggle when you're a law student slash about to be lawyer. Because I love creative things. I love like being creative and being girly and all that kind of stuff. But there is a like thin line where, you know, business professional and girly and creative and all that kind of rests. So. I'll try to find different colors. So I really like this. Still kind of basic, but I like it. It's like a brownish color. But yeah, I get tired of wearing like nudes and baby pinks and stuff. Y'all see this eyelash right here? 
I can't even see it. It's like sticking out. Like, what are you doing? Get information. Get information. Anyway, y'all, I don't know what I'm about to wear. It's bar hopping, so I'll probably do like some jeans and some booties. Little like booty shoes. I just coat the uh, mascara on y'all. I do. I have no problem. I have no problem. Are you black? I can't tell. Sorry. I don't know if you're trying to be a troll or you're trying to really ask me that. I'm a whole nigga. Just to let you know. So, don't try me. Don't let my voice fool you, my nigga. It's okay, y'all. We know how we handle these. It ain't nothing to report that. Hey, it ain't nothing to report that. I don't know why people try me. I will file a whole lawsuit on your ass. Excuse my um language, y'all. I try not to cut. Yeah, I report his ass. I don't have the time. Look, just because I'm in the legal field don't mean I won't turn up on you. Okay. But I be trying to remind myself character and fitness, character and fitness. Do not go off on these young people. People don't know me for real, for real. Didn't I tell y'all I was from Flint? <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Let me stop. Sorry. <laughs> okay, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I said I was cute or pretty or something. Thank you. Thank you, sis. So, this is what the makeup is looking like. Real basic. This is like my go to look, y'all. Like, no eyeshadow. Just me being me in my face doing its thing. Let me um spray my face. So, let me tell y'all. Pro tip. Not really pro because I'm not a makeup guru. So, I always like spray my face. After I get done with my makeup, but I try to do it before I do my eye, um, mascara or after it dries because if I spray my face now, my mascara is still kind of wet. So that is why you get like the black under here and black like everywhere. So I'm going to wait a little bit before I do that. So um, thank you. I'm about to plug up the straightener real quick. Honestly, I might not do my hair on here, y'all. It's already been an hour and I doubt people want to see, you know. But I will tell y'all what I'm going to do with my hair just so y'all can have an idea. So I'm going to um, use this straightener. This is my um, Diamond Irresistible Me straightener. Cute little red one. I'm going to put it on 400. And I'm just going to do some straightener curls. I've been doing that. It's like been my go-to look lately. So that's what I'm going to do, y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to... Uh... <laughs> I don't discriminate, but I got a whole boyfriend, okay? I got a whole boyfriend. Let me take this off so I can properly say goodbye to y'all now. My wig might be real far back. We're going to whoop, 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 whoop. Because <laughs> I put it far back when I'm laying my edges. Y'all see the edges kind of laid. This is the old, old A wig. I think this is, I did an update on this wig. Um, Y'all, is this Y African or, I think it's Y African. I'm pretty sure this is Y African. Um, and I've been wearing this wig for, this is like an old, I'm talking about ancient y'all. Super old wig. Literally has been my go-to lately, but I'll switch it up and wear like the, um my newest affordable wig set video wig. Synthetic, but this is human hair, so I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural, you know. So I'm just gonna brush it down for you guys. 
I'm being kind of overly gentle because the wig is not all the way on. Let me add the clips in. I usually don't add the clips. I ain't gonna lie. So if somebody came up to me and just grabbed my wig, whole wig fall off. Unless I know I'm going somewhere that I might be like, I don't know, high activity. But most of the time, I don't wear the clips because they're uncomfortable. I always wear the clip in the back though. But that wouldn't help me if somebody pulled it off. So if y'all ever see me and y'all pull my wig off, you fake. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to straighten my hair on here because I've already been out here for an hour. I'm sorry. Usually it's crazy because this makeup look I just, just did because I didn't do eyeshadow. Wasn't thinking. I um could literally do in like 15 minutes. Yeah, when I'm on my way to work, I could do it in like 15 minutes. So, but yeah, I'm just going to add a few little curls. Probably more like wave curls, loose curls um, in this wig. Oh, I didn't put a lipstick on. Problem one, I don't have my Vaseline in here, so my lips is dry. <laughs> Scorching for water. Speaking of water, I haven't even opened this. This is not the water I used um, earlier. Ooh, mouth was dry. All right, lipstick, we're going to use... Do I want to use this one? Or do I want to do a dark lip? Which I think. Dark lip. Nude lip. No lip. <laughs> okay. Once I figure out what lipstick I'm wearing, I'm out of here. I'm done with y'all. I'm through. We're finished. No. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a brown lip. Was that still socially acceptable in the summertime? Brown lip. Kind of cute. Um, I just used that color was I think it's called like chocolate from this company called Concrete Rose. But an even better brown is um from BH Cosmetics Missy Lynn. If I can find it. Is this it? No, it's not it. I have all these lipsticks, y'all. Somebody come organize this, okay? We're gonna have an organized cameras makeup day. I don't know where it is. Anyways, I like that brown more than Missy Lynn one, but I can't find it. No, where is it? <laughs> okay. So we just have to work with this one because... Another thing, I'm trying to put it on cute, but like, okay. And I always hit the corners like that. I don't know why, but... I do. Okay. I'm gonna put these brushes back. But yeah, this is it. So this is the final makeup look, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Really talkative, probably all over the place, but y'all know how my lives are. Let me know if I should do more live videos. I really like these because they're just just easier to do than editing a video. And I can kind of get them out quick. Um, so I probably would just post it as soon as I'm done. I'll just do a thumbnail later or not even do a thumbnail. Um, but yeah i really like this hope you guys enjoyed love talking to you guys I maybe mean, i should actually have like topics to talk about when i do these instead of just getting on here and be like oh what's up yeah because that's too much but yeah that's it. what kind of feeling this do a little behind the ear action if you watch my videos you know how i feel when will you go live on facebook i don't know i don't feel like i don't have that many people that watch me on facebook which is why I don't go live on Facebook, but I don't know. I actually might get on Instagram live and straighten my hair. So you follow me on Instagram at Kim Monet, Facebook at Kim Monet, Snapchat is at it's with a K I T S W I T H K A Y. Um, yeah, so I might do that since this is just getting too long. Anyways, but yeah, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. But um, side note, if you would like me to go live on Facebook, definitely let me know. I'll probably do that. I just haven't tried it. Um, but who knows? Might do that. And not my personal Facebook, but my um, public Facebook page. So 
But yeah, love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. Leave me some comments down below. And um, yeah, see you guys in my next video. Later. Try to figure out how to close the live and say goodbye at the same time. Later. <laughs> I just like ruined the end. But bye, y'all. Thank you. Hopefully I'll get some slate photos for the gram.